So right here, I got a new Metopia mod ready, and we're going to be playing it. We're basically just going to play until I get bored of it. Everything is fine. Perfectly fine. While the intro plays, I just want to go over some stuff that's happened recently. Two big things have been found in Metopia modding, like, within the week. By the same person, too, which is really awesome. The first one was something that everyone's really wanted for a long time, which is being able to control every party member. And the second thing is animations and sound effects and stuff. New ones can now be added, which means you don't have to, like, replace old ones and stuff. I don't even know if replacing old ones was a possibility, but yeah. Things are pretty normal at the moment. Just your typical day in Metopia. Except for this. <laughs> uh, things are a little... A little burnt. A little lava-y. Fire-y too. I could not have been bothered to change the green horn background because, uh... I don't know how. <laughs> Into the fiery pits we go. <laughs> this is a long black screen. I'm worried that it crashed. Huh. That's different. Yeah, I might- I might fix that later for the actual mod release, but whatever. I think that I'll just go with... Good old mage. I like mage. It's fun. Alright, so... You're about to get a taste of... The real... The real deal of this mod. Maybe. Depends on if we kill it too soon. Are you gonna do the thing? Oh, th yep, there it goes. <laughs> I gave every single enemy the ability to... Burn me. The world is on fire. And I'm also on fire. <laughs> so yeah, every single enemy now has a burning attack. It's a little bit more difficult that way. <laughs> ah yes, this is totally the landscape that was on the map. Definitely. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if we can beat a butterfly. Okay, that's a good start. Oh gosh. There we go. Something I realized while going through the mod files... Apparently, there's like no information on, on how status effects for character attacks work. So yeah, it's actually easier to change the effects of enemy attacks than it is the effects of character attacks, because that's at least somewhat understood. There's only one enemy in the game that actually has a fire skill, and I just copy and pasted that skill onto every single enemy. And it is a magic-based attack, so it's not always going to do that much damage. But still, the fact that they're setting me on fire is pretty decent. I'm- I'm gonna take down my PNG tuber for the time being because I'm gonna close Discord. Uh, this mod doesn't actually do that much, but I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was just thinking about the this is fine meme. <laughs> That's all I was thinking about. <laughs> I don't know how hard this boss fight's gonna be. Wait, why is the animation? Wait, what? So, I guess the other enemies just don't have an animation for their s skill 3, but the enemies that do have an animation for their skill 3 will play the animation. So that's interesting. It took me a while to figure out how to do this, this background thing, even though I didn't bother making it look good. I did do it. 
So far, this hasn't been too much of an issue, the whole setting me on fire thing. But I can think of a few scenarios where it will be an issue. You see, I really like that some of the enemies actually play their animations for what would normally be their third skill. I do appreciate that. This is the visual representation of global warming. I need to teach everyone a lesson about why global warming's such a big deal, you know? Don't mind that this is a very lush and green forest. Everything's still on fire on the inside. Maybe I can teach you a lesson about global warming by throwing soup at a famous painting. Oh hey, you want to know a fun fact about that? Uh, those people were paid by oil companies to do that. It's not even that hard to find out. <laughs> Wow, this sure is a lot of fire. We, we are... We're looking real hot. <laughs> we might actually lose this. Unless I use the life sprinkles, probably. The life sprinkles will probably be enough to fix it. Stop setting people up, no. We're all dying. Everyone is dead. Alright, there we go. Anyways, no one who actually knows things would throw soup at an oil-based painting because that's made from seed oil, which is not that different from vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. It is very different from crude oil. <laughs> I forgot this was the cave because there's no cave on the overworld map. <laughs> oh no, this is this is the worst place ever. I am in Spain without- without the S. They're setting me on fire, and they're making us cry. Crying is the worst status effect. I hope that everyone's appreciating the fact that, uh, I am currently on fire while inside of a water cave. Yeah, this is the part that I was afraid of, because normally these things, they only do like three damage. But now, all of them are going to have an 80% chance to set us on fire. I could have, you know, made this a lot more brutal by, uh, you know, adjusting the skill so that it was a physical attack for some enemies and a magical attack for others. But, uh, I was kind of lazy. Oh, heck. You see, this is, this is where I was saying that, uh, Things could be a bit of an issue. The... The imps all use magic-based attacks. This boss is a lot harder than it normally is. Gosh, uh... Yeah, I don't see this ending well. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna fight the other boss. And then after that, we'll try the other boss. If it uses the fire attack, that should do less damage than its attack normally does. Oh, but it's also accompanied by Cumulus, right? Those are... those are going to be an issue. Wow, yeah, those things actually have like a decent magic stat. Mage and Cleric are both magic casters, which means that they should have higher magic resistance. Because it's like a Gen 1 Pokémon where special defense and special attack were the same stat. It works on the same principle. Alrighty. That was easy enough. Please, no, don't use Pilfer. Don't use Pilfer. And of course you use Kier on yourself instead of healing the others. Or, you know, using Calm and healing everyone, including yourself. No! Heck. Okay. I can fix it. I can fix it. We're, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. I need to work on killing those apple jellies. Thank you for the cure. I really needed that. And I'm out of MP. That's not good. I'm dead. Heck. I didn't use the safe spot, but I don't think the safe spot's gonna help. Because everything sets everyone on fire. So, it's just not gonna help. Alrighty. 
Thank you to everybody for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.